Boeing's CEO Dennis Mullenberg today survived the challenge by shareholders who wanted to strip him of his title as chairman. He also took reporters' questions for the first time since two 737 MAX crashes that killed 346 people, and he defended the jet's design. Chris Van Cleve was there. With protesters outside holding pictures of those killed in 737 MAX crashes, Boeing CEO Dennis Mullenberg said the plane will be safe to fly after they've fixed the jet's troubled MCAS anti-stall system. It's our responsibility to eliminate this risk. In both MAX crashes, investigators believe a sensor malfunction triggered the anti-stall system, repeatedly pushing the nose down. The second crash in March prompted the worldwide grounding of the plane and investigations into its approval by the FAA. But Mullenberg is standing by the MAX's design. That the MCAS system, as originally designed, did meet our design and safety analysis criteria. You couldn't have possibly designed a system that would activate 21 times pushing the nose of the plane down to the point of an unrecoverable dive. There are multiple contributing factors. There are factors that we can control in the design, and in this case, that common link related to the MCAS system and its activation. We're going to break that link, and this will prevent accidents like this from happening again. Would the accident have happened without MCAS, though? You again, call it a link. A, it's a, a chain of events, right? There is no singular item. It's a chain of events. Carefully chosen words as Boeing faces mounting losses, at least a billion dollars in counting, as well as several lawsuits, including one on behalf of 10 Canadians killed in the Ethiopian crash. Paul and Jiroge lost his wife and three kids. Those six minutes will forever be embedded in my mind. I was not there to help them. I couldn't save them. Boeing admitted late today an indicator light in the cockpit that could have warned pilots to that critical malfunction was supposed to be standard on all MAX jets, but wasn't activated in many of them. It was an admission that caught even regulators by surprise. Jeff? Some interesting questions there and answers. Chris Van Cleve, thank you very much.